Offensive Security has just dropped its latest release to Kali Linux 2024.3, and it's packed with new tools, powerful updates, and game-changing features. Whether you are a hacker or a cybersecurity enthusiast, you would love this update. Let's jump in and find out what's new in this Kali update. Kali Linux 2024.3 introduces 11 exciting new tools that will give you an edge in your cybersecurity adventures. Here are some of the must-try additions. First, we have Goshes. It's similar to Simplip Server, but it's written in Go and comes with more features and flexibility. This is great for quickly setting up a web server with added capabilities. Next is Grotit. This tool leverages the power of grep to perform rough source code auditing. It's great for quickly scanning through code bases to find potential vulnerabilities. A must have if you're auditing code regularly. NetExec is another tool which automates network service exploitation, making it easier to assess large networks efficiently. If you're dealing with complex environments, this tool will save you a lot of time and effort. Then there's Hecatom. This tool allows you to extract and decrypt credentials from all domain computers. It's like having a master key to unlock credentials across a network, making it invaluable for penetration testers looking to gain deeper access. And that's not all. There are also tools like MixCheck for email security, NetScanner for network diagnostics, SprayHound for password spraying, SQLMC for SQL injection checks, GSocket for secure communication and Obsidian for flexible note-taking. But the updates don't stop there. For all the mobile pentesters, Kali NetHunter Pro has expanded its support. It now includes devices with Qualcomm Snapdragon SDM845 SoC, like the OnePlus 6, Shift 6 MQ, and Xiaomi Pocophone F1. So, your hacking tools can go wherever you go. Now, let's talk about the major changes happening behind the scenes. One of the biggest updates is the transition to Python 3.12. This update has been a bit of a roller coaster, as it involved removing deprecated APIs and fixing broken packages, a monumental effort by the Kali team. Python 3.12 isn't the default just yet, but it will be in the next release, Kali 2024.4. So heads up, Python users. This will change how you install packages. PIP will no longer be an option. So make sure you're prepared for this shift. If you're on Kali rolling, you may have noticed updates slowing down a bit. This was due to the ongoing transition to Python 3.12, which temporarily blocked other packages from being released. But don't worry, this slowdown is temporary. Once Python 3.12 is fully integrated, expect a wave of fresh updates and new features to hit your Kali system soon. Now, for our ARM enthusiasts, there's good news. The Raspberry Pi 5 gets a speed boost with the new kernel version 6.6 .6 and firmware updates. If you're using an A2 rated Micros card, expect a 2 to 3x speed increase in random access node. For our ARM enthusiasts, there's good news. The Raspberry Pi 5 gets a speed boost with the new kernel version 6.6 .6 and firmware updates. If you're using an A2 rated Micros card, Expect a 2 to 3x speed increase in random access. And lastly, Kali has added new mirrors in Bulgaria, Italy, the Netherlands, and South Korea. This ensures faster downloads and more reliable access for everyone, no matter where you are. So, that's it. Kali Linux 2024.3 brings new tools, essential updates, and powerful features to keep you ahead of the game. Ready to try it out? Download the latest version or upgrade your existing installation now. And don't forget, you can use our last video installation steps to get the newest Kali. They're packed with the newest updates straight from the offensive security team. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share it with your fellow hackers. Let's keep learning, keep exploring, and keep hacking.